What up, y'all? It is DJ Barbecue and my friend Matt from Oxford Charcoal just arrived. Say hi, Matt. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I think Matt's the kind of troll-like charcoal maker who's got hair growing out of his ears, but we can fix that. But I actually <laughs> don't want to fix that. I think you should kind of like make it like a, a mustache, Matt. I did start plaiting it once, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the wife was pretty unhappy, so I had to get rid of that. <laughs> hey, hey, at least you got a wife, you know, who's okay oh, yeah. with that. Um, okay, so Matt has just turned up with some charcoal for me because I got a big day of cooking. I've got the laying out uh, tomorrow, and I've also got the, the, the Weber. Um, Matt, what do we have here? Okay, so uh, I've got you a little selection of stuff. Um, this is my mixed species. There's, I mean, all kinds of things in here. It's really, uh, it's based around uh, ash and birch mix, but there's some oak in it, some sweet chestnut, nice. a little bit of fruit wood to give it a bit of pep. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's not, yeah, it's a nice little mix. Um, got a pure ash here. Okay, so what, what, because I've seen you've been cooking the ash. Yeah. What do you think? What, do you, what What's so special about ash? Because that one, it grows quick. Yep. Um, so it is sustainable. Yeah, yeah. What well, do you think? In fact, so all the wood that goes into our into our boxes all comes from uh, woodlands which are cut under a forestry commission um, uh, felling license. So they're all kind of certified as sustainable. They're all uh, harvested in a sustainable way anyway. Okay. Uh, but ash, you're right, it grows really quickly. And actually, it's got a really low moisture content. So it's really... Ah. It's a bit of a dream for me to make into charcoal, <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah, well, it's the moisture that escapes that creates the smoke. So as Matt's trying to create the oxidation the, to make it into carbon, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And um, when it's got less moisture, it kind of quickens everything, It does correct? just goes more quickly and makes my life a little easier. Yeah, I get to bed, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, and, and, and hopefully it doesn't burn down his charcoal-making facilities, <laughs> which did happen... Yeah, last year, right? June last year, yeah. Mm. Struck by lightning on Friday the 13th, can you believe? Which is my mom's favorite day, uh, weirdly, except for the one that you yeah, yeah. suffered upon. That was just sad. <laughs> Sorry. Bless. Okay, so um, we got some ash, which is your dream charcoal making. Yep. Um, I like the fact that he's putting a bit of uh, sweet wood, fruit wood, in his um, mix because um, fruit wood's not cheap. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, but um, often I'll get it as part of a mixed package. So quite often you'll find there's some crab apple or some Ooh. thorn. Because thorn, it's, it's, it's the genus Prunus. And that's what all your English fruit woods are. Sorry. Genus uh, Prunus. Yeah. So if it's got Prunus in his Latin name, it's a fruit wood. Okay. Um, and they all behave in a really similar way and you get very similar flavor profiles. They change between them, but they're all good. Okay. Um, so that's what we're going there. This is pure birch. Oh. oh. So I was cooking this in Lapland recently and it was one of the most wonderful woods that I've ever had the pleasure of working on. Yeah. It's just a beautiful, uh, it's almost like a, Close to a, a, a fruit wood, it's almost yeah. quite sweet, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and it has a kind of mineral nature to it as well, mm -hmm. I think, which I think works really well with grass fed animals. Okay. So I really like it with lamb, things like that. Um, so yeah. birch and lamb. I did reindeer. Oh, okay. They're well, still quite, quite, you know, yeah. you start going towards lamb and it, it, it doesn't have a gamey taste, but for someone who's not used to uh, lamb, it's going to be gamey ending compared to beef. Sure. It's sure. going to be a bit, you know, foreign. Yeah. In taste. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. But, um, and birch, I really love this. It's the most dense charcoal that you can make from the British wood. Um, it's kind of bizarre because the wood itself is not very promising. You know, it's quite a light timber. Yeah. Um, and it seasons really badly, so often it rots before you get it dry if you want it as a firewood. But um, charcoal making um, is just amazing. So you get this very, very dense, like nearly a mirror shine uh, when you break a piece of birch charcoal open. I've uh, seen you hold up birch, and you, you love just showing off the shine you get. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He, he well, he's a geek. And, uh, no, I am. Yeah. That's yeah. Which I completely. thank you for being a geek, because <laughs> then we can geek out about charcoal. So um, it it doesn't season well, but it cooks well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of making it into a charcoal, actually. So uh, when I make birch charcoal. I keep the temperatures fairly low, so you keep a bit of the volatile uh, left in the wood, so the flavour sort of carries through into the charcoal. Okay. If you cook it up too hot, um, if you took that to maybe sort of six, seven hundred degrees, you'd find you had lovely burning properties, but the flavour would really be good. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're so you're trying to keep the flavour in the wood. Yeah, yeah. Because there is flavour in fuel, and I think people forget about that because like. Well, you've been going indoors in electricity and gas, but that's only 70 years before that. These were the men that you relied upon because fire is one of the greatest gifts to, to, to mankind. And the charcoal makers were, back in the old days, 
they did quite well. They, they, oh, yeah. People needed to cook on charcoal, they needed, sure. especially in London, because it was, you know, charcoal is smokeless, really. It is, yeah, yeah. And and what they call London the big smoke, and yeah. um, you know, there'll just be soot everywhere. So because of coal and things like that, but charcoal, charcoal's good. Oh yeah. Well, you know, and the thing I love telling people about charcoal, particularly when you're recording me on one of these little things, uh, is it's the first industrial fuel. You know, you couldn't have metal without charcoal; it would never have happened. Uh, there so we you go. Would never have so you wouldn't, you wouldn't have the phone. You wouldn't have this, right? Absolutely right. No cars without charcoal. Yeah, man. It's so thank, of life. thank Matt. The stuff of life. Well, to <laughs> most people, black stuff of life. A yeah. car is their life. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> okay, so we got birch, we got mix, we got ash. Yep. Uh, the only other thing I've got in the back is some beach charcoal. Ooh. Um, again, it's really nice. It's a heavy, dense uh, charcoal, and we get those flavors. It's really classic sort of hot dog flavors. Um, you, you know, kind of they're all sort of beechwood smoked and what yes. have you. Uh, so yeah, you know, that isn't Budweiser through. beechwood. God, it might be actually. Yeah, beechwood aged or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Well, you it's know, I was going to do a hot dog. So if people were asking me for more hot dogs, I was going to do a hot dog with a, a chili onion kind of on, on top, and then I was going to mix the mustard and the ketchup with it, uh -huh. and maybe I'll do it on the on the beach. Excellent, good choice. Yeah, simple simple recipe, yeah. but cooked on uh, wood that's going to give it that authentic kind of flavor. Sure. Most there, definitely. There you go. Uh, Matt, say goodbye to everybody. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Look for Matt, uh, his charcoal. I'll be using it at loads of the festivals, grill stock. Uh, and am I allowed to tell people where you're making charcoal for or no? Oh, yeah, you can because it's going out really soon. Okay, yeah. Matt's making charcoal for Waitrose. Yeah, go and buy it. Support the cause. There we go. <laughs> Oxford Charcoal Company. There it is right there.